Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to The Breakfast Club. Uh, we both took the week off. Well, not really the week off, but we didn't get a video done last week. I so. was still working. Yeah. I just wasn't here. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't working. <laughs> Anyways, this is episode 15. Woo! Yeah. And uh, if you haven't noticed yet, I'm sitting a little higher than normal today. It's, uh... We had a bit of an incident. <laughs> so I was in Kansas last week. I got a lot of cornmeal, I guess, or something, because... The chair broke. That was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> well, was it Kansas? Because last time we did a video, which was two weeks before you left, I broke the other chair. The other so we have three chairs. So uh, I got. Unfortunately, one. <laughs> none of it is on camera. Like, I, thank God. It would have been good. Anyways, yeah. So yeah. he's got an uncomfortable chair. I'm hoping I don't break this chair. <laughs> I zip tied it together. It should be okay. <laughs> yeah. Might be time to uh, get a couple new chairs. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking that's in the budget. <laughs> Anyways, you yeah. were gone to Ipswich Provincials. How'd yeah. that go? Ipswich Provincials was really good. Awesome two-day match. Um, we had our AGM and everything like that. Uh, got second. Oh, Blue nice. Boot. Not nice. quite the provincial champ. Congratulations. Champs, but close. Uh, yeah, it was a really good match. Um, I'll see if I can find a video somewhere. I'm sure yeah, there is. I'll throw that in there. Yeah. And yeah, then right after Provincials, I went straight to Kansas for uh, a work trip there. That was good, other than the traveling. Cause... I suppose we could have called this video The Incredible Journey Part 2. Part 2, yeah. <laughs> so again, like last time, I am cursed when I fly. I actually, yeah, I'm never going anywhere with you. I should have. I'll get it after. I should have my... Uh, I have a little trinket I bring with me wherever I go. And trinket, <laughs> best friend. <laughs> I have a little rubber duck, and he's my traveling companion. And you know, I always called him my good luck travel duck. Well, no, he's my bad luck travel duck because on the way down this time, we crossed the border, everything was fine. We got to Minot and got on the plane, everything was on schedule. We sat there for two hours, kept getting told, Yeah, yeah, no, they're just wiping that uh, bird off the oh, front of the plane. Fine. Yeah, they just got to scrub it out. It's all good. And then all of a sudden, you know, it wasn't a chickadee. It was a bit bigger of a bird, I guess. So it made a dent. And then they had to replace that panel. So we got kicked off the plane there for another two hours. There was another plane there, actually. And they're like trying to get as many passengers on that plane as they could. And we got a ticket. We're like, all right. So we got all the way to the gate. And then the girl looked right at us. Right at us and she's like, nope, we're full. And oh. slammed the door. No. <laughs> so now what? We have a ticket for the, that plane. <laughs> So we got put back on the other plane that already had the bird dent in it. <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard of that. I mean, obviously planes encounter birds in the sky. That's probably a very I, I don't know. Like, there's a little chickadee. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's yeah. unreal. Other than that, you know, we got, got that flight done with. We got our connecting flight. We had 15 minutes by the time we landed to get to our next connecting flight. And if anyone's ever been into the meeting yet, uh, sorry, Minneapolis, airport oh i've ran through that airport many a times yeah. so we landed on this side and we had to get to that side so we had to take the tram and then we were sprinting and then oh yeah we got on the plane though and we got to kansas the way back was a lot better <laughs> no birds <laughs> yeah overall you know not a bad trip just i gotta stop flying <laughs> yeah. no. well maybe just get rid of your duck i can't it's it's he's my my bad luck travel duck well, well you're committed <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, what's up with Wolverine? Um, as we posted about yesterday, I think it was, yes. we've had a, a really big shipment of Browning and Winchester in, so we're gonna go through some of that with you guys later. Yeah, you bet. And it's a lot of like the 2019 uh, SHOT Show specials, things like that, you know, limited runs, a lot of those ones came in and you know, some more oddball calibers too. So definitely ch check it out. There's a lot on there. I think there was over 36 different Winchesters came in on this yeah, one shipment. So I different models, not just rifles. Like eh. flying through them to get them yeah. on the website. Yeah. And just <laughs> just a note for any of uh, the lefties out there, we do have access to most Browning and Winchester. So if there's something you see yes. that you would like to get a left-handed model in, if it exists, yeah. we can probably get our hands on it. So just give our sales team a call and they can help you out. Yeah, and actually, if you are looking for a specific Browning, a good thing to note is, if you have one in mind, all you got to do is give us a call, and we can kind of tell you right off the bat when we can get it for the most part. You know, if it's if it's in stock in North America, I can tell you when we can get it. <laughs> if it isn't, who knows, because Browning has to make it. There you so, go. Yeah. If you give us a call, we can kind of tell you right off the bat on Winchester Browning, get your pricing almost like that. So. 
Perfect. It's a, a nice handy little tool we have. Yeah, right on. Okay, so unfortunately fall is upon us. Yay. <laughs> I don't know what happened this summer. I don't know either, but my drives to work are now in the dark, so that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> but on a good note, that means hunting season yep. is, has already started, I guess. We're into archery whitetail right now. Yeah, um, archery whitetail, if you were drawn for elk in Manitoba, you're out there now as well for archery. Um, and muzzle loaders coming up next, which I think we should do a video on that. Yeah, next. we had a question regarding what all we have for yeah. muzzle loaders. So next week, maybe we'll cover off our muzzle loading selection. Yeah, that'll be a good one. But yeah, it's uh, archery right now. So if you are in Manitoba or even South East Saskatchewan area, give us a call because we do have a stellar archery department right now. So if you have any, you need to get geared up, equipment, anything like that, we've got a lot in stock. So we could probably help you out too. Uh, we also have hunting licenses here, so yep. anyone in the area who's looking to get their hands on a license, give us a call, show up to the store, we should be able to hook you up. Yeah. And for anyone who's not near Manitoba that could be watching this, our dates are provincial, so check your own provincial oh. dates to yeah. go for your different hunting regulations, because right. they are province by province, so just don't take our word as gospel <laughs> that you can yeah. go and shoot white tail with a bow right now. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> But they told me on the breakfast club. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez, disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, also something exciting coming up is TACOM. If you yes. haven't heard us talking about that yet, that is Canada's largest tactical and competitive shooting show taking place September 6th and 7th in... Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, there will be a bunch of the Wolverine crew there. We'll have a big booth. I can't remember my booth number. It's like five something, 505, <laughs> I can't 501. We'll post all the information about that below in case you are in that area and yeah. are going to be there. Yeah, that'll be an awesome show. It's, it's Imagine the NRA show and SHOT show and all the other gun shows in the U.S. Slap them together and move it to Canada. And there we are. Yeah, it's it going to be an good. awesome show. Should be good. Yeah. Okay, so we mentioned Browning and Winchester, uh, so we decided to feature a few of those. As yeah. you can see behind oh, us, we boom. have some nice shotguns that Ty is going to talk about here. Yeah, these are shotguns. <laughs> Some have one barrel, some have two. They're pretty cool. Uh, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, you name it. <laughs> Do you want me to go into more detail? <laughs> All right. Maybe a little. A little bit more. All right, so up top we have the Browning Wicked Wing. Now, this guy right here is chambered for three and a half, 28 inch barrel. Uh, again, 12 gauge, removable chokes, and it's got a really nice, like almost that burnt bronze Cerakote on it. Um, adjustable comb on it, so it is a, a wicked rifle. Rifle, shotgun, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wicked though. Yeah, wicked. You get it? <laughs> you caught that, did you? I did. <laughs> Next one we have on the wall is a Satori CX again from Browning. Just a three inch chamber, not the three and a half. Uh, 30 inch barrels over under adjustable comb. Uh, you got uh, different uh, chokes in there. A, a higher rib than um, your your other wicked wing there, just because it's more of a more of a skeet and trap shotgun, uh, more so than a, a hunting shotgun. Wicked Wing was definitely, you know, designed to uh, to be out in the field, where the Satori CX is definitely more of a, a sporting, sporting, sporting shock. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the Satori 725, a little bit different of a model, but again, more of a sporting uh, model above all. That is just a two and three quarter uh, vented barrels. You got, in, you know, improved uh, choke, I believe, that come in them. I don't know. Yeah, it comes with two different chokes, uh, fiber optic sights, again, adjustable comb, really nice walnut stock. And then we also have the Browning BT-99, which is exclusively a trap shotgun because you are a single barrel. Uh, really simple, but it's a perfect way to get into trap because it's not crazy expensive. Uh, I think a BT-99, I don't know if I have the price. We can pull that up on yeah, the website I'll pull that there. Yeah, on the website. Yeah. And then we'll move into the Winchesters because we do have a small selection of Winchester shotguns. A lot more rifles came in than the shotguns, but we do have the SX-4 Hybrid Hunter which if you are going for, for any uh, waterfowl or anything like that, three and a half, because I actually love using three and a half because I don't like them being close. More of a sky shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting the clouds. Yeah. 20 inch barrel. Uh, it doesn't have an adjustable cheek or comb, but anything like that, it's all good. Fiber up front sight, semi-auto. And like I said, it's three and a half inch chamber, so you can be blasting them with heavy, heavy steel loads. And I like to, if they come in close, I just like seeing feathers. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Horrible 
overview of the shotguns there. <laughs> In case you didn't catch any of that, yeah. I, I will have all the info and all the links below so you can take a look for yourself and read it at your own pace. <laughs> you need a minute? Yeah. I've, I've been gone for a week and it's just... I want to like go home and sleep for a while. I've been in and out of the office for weeks. Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Anyways, I think that is everything we have for you today. Uh, just wanted to know we will be closed this weekend for the long weekend. So yes. we close Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And yep. then the following, so next weekend, we're going to start our extended Saturday hours. So next Saturday will be open nine till four and that will follow through all the way into the holidays. Yeah, so uh, throughout your hunting season, everything like that, will be open on the Saturdays. Uh, same with phones and emails, we'll be trying to get back to as many as we can. Um, yeah. Obviously on the Saturdays, it's primarily a larger walk-in yeah. traffic showroom day. So if you are trying to give us a call, bear with us. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. You bet. All right, well, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next week. Don't forget about us.